What's up? How are you guys today? We are down here at Madison Square Park across from the Flatiron Building, uh, which is near where we are going to meet for the meet giveaway. I guess you could call it a meet up next Sunday, August 7th around noon. So if you guys want to come earlier than that and start forming a line, I would encourage, I think there's going to actually be uh, quite a lot of people around a few hundred, but we do have almost 2,000 pounds of meat to give away. So whether each person gets five pounds or 10 pounds of meat, uh, there's going to be plenty to go around. And uh, I will get into those specifics about uh, where the location is going to be. I'll show you guys that in a second. Uh, but we have a lot of hot dogs, uh, a lot of pork breakfast sausage, Italian sausage, beef plain sausage, some bologna, uh, maybe like 1,200 pounds of all that stuff total. It's all smoked. So, you know, this guy did put everything in the smoker a little bit. So keep in mind, you know, if you don't like smoked meat, it's all going to be smoked. And then we do have maybe five to 600 pounds of fresh farm meat. So we have a lot of ground beef. We have some roast. We have some steaks. Uh, so we have plenty of plain meat to give away as well if you guys want that. Uh, I haven't exactly figured out how I'm going to distribute it yet. I think I'm just going to give each person like one of each type of sausage and then they'll get like a steak or a roast or something on top of that. And if there are a few hundred people, guys, uh, this isn't really going to be a meetup because I will not have time to talk to everyone. I'm going to have 20, 30 seconds, give you guys the meat, put it in your cooler. Make sure to bring, you know, a cooler or a box depending on how far away you are. Um, and you guys will know, you know, when you get there, how much meat you're going to get. Because, you know, I'm going to kind of count how many people there are. But, you know, if there are 300 people, divide 2,000 by 300. If there's 100 people that show up, divide, you know, then everyone's going to get 20 pounds of meat, which is quite a lot. So uh, make sure uh, to come. Just be ready to take home between 5 and 10 pounds of meat. And again, Sunday, August 7th, 12 noon, I'm going to come down here with a van. Uh, I'll find you guys. I'll get like a megaphone or something and I'll... You know, I'll just introduce and tell you guys what we're going to do. So, um, uh, in regards to permits, uh, you do need one to have a gathering over 25 people in a park. But we're not meeting in a park, we're meeting on the street. And, and that's a month out, so the event's too soon anyway for me to pull a permit for a park. Um, so, uh, if you guys look around here, across from Madison uh, Square Park, I showed you guys earlier, is the Flatiron Building. And then, uh, kind of like to the left, of Madison Square Park is this like little divide that's directly across from the Flatiron and then there's a street that's where we're actually gonna meet so if you guys want to hang out um, like at the park for an hour or two um, that's fine but we're actually gonna walk west aka left I got to cross about two streets and there's a, a Lego store on the corner here but on this little divide kind of in the middle of the Flatiron area. I think this is going to be a good spot for you guys to meet. Um, there's a lot of chairs here and it's just like a meeting area. I don't think this is a, a private business. I think this is a public space. So if there are like a few hundred people that show up, I think this is going to be a good spot for you guys to wait for me. But in regards to like forming the line and me handing out the meat, I need somewhere to put the van. Um, so I think that's going to be down the street over here. So we got Madison Square Park over here, Flatiron Building over here. This is probably going to be the meeting area across from the Flatiron. And then we're going to cross the street over here. Um, th this corner of the Lego store, I'm guessing if there's a lot of people, the line's going to like wrap around here. And I'm probably going to park my van somewhere on this street. So it might, it might be on the left side of the street, but we should be able to find a parking spot on the right side. I'll put the van here for two or three hours and we should be able to hand out all the meat. So as you guys can imagine, you know, there should be a line coming all the way down here. And then wherever I end up parking my van is where the front of the line is going to be. So I, I want this to be as quick and easy as possible for you guys. I don't want you hanging out in the sun for two or three hours if it's really going to be hot that day or whatever. Uh, so just have your coolers ready, have everything you need. 
maybe bring some ice packs from home if you have reusable ones. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna be parked around here, this area. Uh, this is across from Verizon, Home Depot. There's a uh, deep Indian kitchen and leaf. Uh, so this is, I think, 25, 23rd Street. Cause we're on, uh, th this corner there is 5th Avenue and 23rd Street. So we're gonna be right over here. Just to kind of summarize the whole event, you guys come down, hang out for however long you want to wait before the event to get a spot in line. But uh, I, I think people are going to want to form a line when they come down here instead of just like hanging out in a group. So maybe the earlier you get here, the better. I'm going to show up with the van and, and just start handing out the meat. Um, guys, I don't think we're going to be able to do like requests because if I, I got to sit and talk to everyone for like a minute on what they want, then I, I'm going to be here all day, guys. It's a lot of meat to give out a few hundred people, even if it takes only, you know, 30 seconds to one minute per person, it's still going to take a few hours to, to hand out all the meat. Uh, again, I think we're okay with the permits, but if you guys uh, find any information on that that I haven't been able to, because uh, from what I've seen, we don't need a permit because we're in the park and we're not like selling food and people aren't eating food. So I think it's perfectly legal for me to just show up in a van and, and give away the meat. But, uh, I guess that's really it. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, some of you guys uh, next Sunday, August 7th. Maybe we'll do like a, a more legitimate meetup sometime uh, in the future when things are going a little bit better for my business. Uh, I've always wanted to like rent out a space and do a seminar, uh, maybe have a barbecue or something um, where we actually just have time to sit down and I can talk to and meet you guys. But uh, that'll be it. Uh, so if you guys are in the New York area, and you have some friends or whatever and want to show up, please share this video. But I'm going to say it again, guys. You know, if you want to come down here just to meet me and see me briefly, that's great. You can. I will probably be very busy just trying to hand out the meat. I'm, I'm probably going to be doing it myself. I might have a little bit of help. But um, <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. So uh, thank you guys for the continued support. Uh, if you want some meat, again, all the sausages are kind of smoked. Um, I got to teach this Amish guy how to make hot dogs and sausages. They're not, they're not fantastic, guys. They're okay. So I, I guess it is a bit of a blessing that, you know, we're giving this away because the meat and the sausages, they're good. You know, the pork refuse sausage is good. It's plain. It's very fresh. The Italian sausage is a little spicy. Um, the hot dogs are a bit overcooked, but they taste okay. The point is it's all really healthy grass-fed meats. Um, and I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy it, but it's not up to my uh, super... Uh, delicious tasty culinary expertise yet that should be the next the next batch is going to be a lot better if we can end up doing it uh, so maybe we'll do a video on uh, what's also going on with the Amish farms this week but outside of that uh, I'll see you guys for the next video as well as the meetup next week